this is the first lesson on modular arithmetic. So modular arithmetic sounds a bit scary, but it's actually really easy and simple. So it's basically just a different way of doing arithmetic with numbers and it's quite fun. So you've actually definitely seen this in real life before. So a clock is an example of modular arithmetic. So usually on the face of a clock, you've got 12 numbers. But sometimes when you use 24 hour time, you use numbers that are bigger than 12. So for example, we know that 13 o'clock is actually the same as one o'clock. So you can see this on the clock. So if we counted to 13, we'd go all the way around to get to 12, and then to get to 13, we'd end up back at one. The same way, we know that 14 o'clock is the same as two o'clock. Because if we're going around the clock to 14, we'd go around to 12, and then we'd get to 13, 14, and we'd see that 14 is the same as 2. So you could do this for all of the numbers up to 25, 24, sorry. But if we really wanted to, we could keep going, we could get to 25. So let's find out what 25 o'clock would be in 12 hour time. So first, we'd get to 12, and we'd go around again to 24, we'd be back at 12, and then to get to 25, we need to do one more. So 25 o'clock is the same as one o'clock. In the same way, we could get to a number such as 27. Let's find out what 27 o'clock is. So again, we can get to 12, we go around again to get to 24, and now let's get to 27. So we've got 24, 25, 26, and 27. So 27 o'clock is the same as 3 o'clock. So that's quite cool. So this is an example of modular arithmetic. So when we're doing this, we write it in a specific way. So we know already that 13 o'clock is the same as 1 o'clock. And we can write this as 13 equals 1 mod 12. So mod is short for modulo, just a bit like this. And what that means, that there are 12 different numbers on our clock. So if we're doing mod 5, there'd be five numbers on the clock. If we were doing mod seven, there'd be seven numbers on the clock, and so on. So when we do maths like this, which we can call clock arithmetic on a clock, mathematicians usually like to put a zero here instead of the number. So instead of a 12, we'd have a zero. But we're doing modulo 12 here because there are 12 different numbers. So we can use this kind of clock math any other number. So you can imagine the clock that has maybe three numbers on it. So let's do that example first. So this would be called modulo 3. So in modulo 3 there are only three possible numbers and these numbers would be 0, 1 and 2. So the only possible times in this weird world would be 0 o'clock, 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock. So you can draw this on our own little clock. So this clock would look like this. We've got a zero, we've got a one, and then we've got a two, and then we'd end up back at zero. So that's quite cool. So let's find out what four o'clock would be in this time. So to do that, we're gonna count around our clock. So to get to four, we go zero, one, two, three, four. So we got back to the one. So you know that 4 is equal to 1 mod modulo 3. So now, now let's try it with 5. So let's use a clock. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when we counted to 5, 
we've got all the way around back to 2. So 5 is equal to 2 modulo 3. Now let's try an example with 6. So let's use our clock. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So when we count to 6, we get all the way back around again to 0. So 6 is equal to 0 mod 3. So what about 3? What is 3 modulo 3? So let's use our clock. We've got 0, 1, 2, 3. I got back to 0. So 3 is also equal to 0 mod 3. The last one, let's try something. Let's try 10 modulo 3. So let's count to 10 on our clock. We've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we got back to 1. So 10 is equal to 1 modulo 3. So as you can see, the only possible answers we got were 0, 1 and 2, because they're the only times that exist in this clock that we're doing. So let's imagine a different kind of clock. This time let's imagine one in modulo 4. So there are four possible numbers on this clock, which are 0, 1, 2 and 3. So if we draw this as a clock, it will look a bit like this. So you can use this clock to work out these examples. So what's 5 going to be? Let's count. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 equals 1 modulo 4. 6 is going to be. So we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 equals 2 modulo 4. Let's try 7. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 equals 3 modulo 4. And then what about 10? So 10 is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 equals 2 mod 4. So again, we can't get any answer that wasn't originally on our clock. So one last example, let's try modulo 7. So in this case, we've got 7 numbers on our clock, which are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So on a clock, we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 8 modulo 7 is going to be, so we count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's equal to 1 modulo 7. 9 is going to be, so we've got 6, 7, 8, 9 is 2 mod 7. 10, so we've got 6 and we've got 7, 8, 9, 10 is equal to 3 mod 7. And 13. So we've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 equals 6 mod 7. Wonderful. So now you've watched all these examples, what you need to do is pause this video and have a go at task 1 on the worksheet, which will take you about 10 minutes. So once you've done that, you can come back to this video. So now that you've done the worksheet, let's carry on with some more examples. So some of you might have found a quick trick to do this. So the quick trick is to use division. So I'm going to show you how that works. So for example, if we're doing 10 modulo 3, we're going to use division. So 10 divided by 3 gives us 3 remainder 1. 
So the answer for 10 modulo 3 is going to be the remainder when you divide. So the remainder we got is 1. So you can go back and check if this is the same answer as before when we were counting in circles. But this is just a bit faster. So let's try it again for this one. So 10 modulo 4, we do 10 divided by 4, which is 2, remainder 2. So our answer here is the remainder is 2. So 10 modulo 7, let's do 10 divided by 7, which is 1, remainder 3. So our answer is going to be 3. 14 modulo 7, so 14 divided by 7 gives us 2 for the remainder of 0. So our answer here is 0. So 20 modulo 3, we do 20 divided by 3, which is going to give us 6, remainder 2. So our answer here is 2. So this method is really helpful because it can help us do modular arithmetic with some big numbers. So let's do it with 55. So we do 55 divided by 10. That gives us 5 remainder 5. So our answer is going to be 5. Awesome. So for the rest of the lesson, there's another task on the worksheet for you to have a go at. So spend the rest of the lesson on that. If you get stuck, it's okay to use a calculator to help you with division. That's okay. I hope you have fun doing this.